Chess is a battle of ideas between what you want to happen and what your opponent wants to happen. One way to get your opponent to do what you want them to do is by making powerful moves. Powerful moves are forcing moves that create threats that your opponent either must respond to, such as a check or a threat of checkmate, or risk ending up in a bad position, such as capturing a more valuable piece or threatening an unprotected piece. Let's look at some examples of using powerful moves to gain the upper hand against your opponent. In this position, white moves the rook to h5, checking black's king. Notice that the black king cannot move away from the check because of white's light square bishop. Black is forced to play queen h7, blocking the check but allowing white to win the queen for a rook after rook takes h7. Let's take a look at this position. White pushes the pawn to d4, threatening the bishop on c5. If black doesn't want to lose the bishop, its only safe retreat square is d6. After bishop d6, now that the bishop has retreated, can you see the next powerful pawn move white can play? That's right, e5. Forking the bishop on d6 and the knight on f6, white is going to win material. Let's take a look at one more position. Sometimes a powerful move doesn't win a piece or even threaten checkmate. Powerful moves can also gain time by bringing a piece into the game and attacking one of your opponent's pieces that is already developed. In this position, black has spent a move developing the queen to h4. White develops the knight on g1 to f3, developing the knight and attacking black's queen. Black has to waste a move by retreating the queen to safety instead of using that time to bring another piece into the game. In chess, we call this losing a tempo, or the time spent on one move. Black loses a tempo by retreating the queen to safety with queen f6. Can white play a second powerful move that develops the dark squared bishop on c1 and forces the black queen to move again? Yes, white can play bishop to g5, gaining a second tempo against the queen as black falls further behind in development. Now that you've learned how powerful moves help you control the action in the game, it's your turn to practice finding powerful moves.